Hi guys, just Tim from TJP Auto. As most of you probably know by now, we are now uh, Lovell's GVM, GCM, BTC upgrade dealers, agents um, in Hobart. And I just want to do a quick rundown of what we can and can't do in Tasmania in regards to GVM upgrades, GCM upgrades and brake tile and capacity upgrades. There's a lot of videos out there on Google, YouTube, etc. Um, but the rules do vary state to state. So this is specific for Tasmania. Um, so in Tasmania, what we can do is pre-rego, now pre-rego means before the vehicle has been registered in any state in Australia, never registered before, brand new off the showroom floor, never registered. So you've got to make sure you speak to your dealer about this if you want to get it done pre-rego. Um, the process is a lot easier pre-rego. We are second stage manufacturers, so we can actually label the, the vehicle and things like that. So it's just an easier process if it is pre-rego. Doesn't mean you can't do a post, but we'll just get into that in a minute. So pre-rego, we're able to increase the vehicle's GVM, we're able to increase the vehicle's GCM, and in some cases with some vehicles, um, 300 series cruiser, 79 series cruiser, and next gen Ranger coming soon, we can increase the brake tonne capacity to 4,000 kilos. Um, now, as I said, the BTC is only, only for some vehicles, but you can only increase that in Tasmania pre-registration. Once the vehicle's registered, we cannot increase the brake towing capacity. Post-rego, so post-rego means a vehicle that's already registered, whether it has been registered interstate, doesn't matter. If it's been registered in Australia, it's post-rego. Um, so post-rego, we can do a GVM upgrade and we can do a GCM upgrade and the vehicle requires a mod plate. Now we've got an engineer that comes in and does the mod plates here for us. Um, and when it, the trouble some people get into with post red GVM upgrades, the vehicle has to comply to the Australian design rules and has to be roadworthy basically when the mod plate's done. So if you come in with a, a um, I'll say like a next gen Ranger for example, and it's got, we fit a GVM upgrade, which gives you about a two inch lift, um, say a 3,700 kilo one, and you've pulled the mud flaps off, um, it's not gonna pass engineering because the mud flaps don't comply. So, you know, some of our kits come with mud flaps and stuff like that, but it's just some things to be aware of, um, that the vehicle post-rego has to have a mod plate. Pre-rego, no mod plate. We are second stage manufacturers, so we register it in here, um, register the, the modification in here, and we can do GVM, GVM and BTC upgrades. Thanks guys.